All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's a fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 253 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, prime time. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come out your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. It seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who's going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Some real power shots here. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? What a punch. A oh, little single collar tie there. And there comes the separation now. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, 
Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Nice kick. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. That is a stiff jab. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Great punch landed with so much power. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big kick land. Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Lands flush with that right hand. Knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Punch to the body is blocked. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, big head kick. Oh, nice. It's the elbow there. Big punch lands over the top. Hudson follows. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And he landed the right hand there. Yeah, left hook found its target. Big knee lands. Real quick leg kick. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent. Defending the takedown. But now, he is going to have to mix it up to get the first shot. Will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him. To give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Not there. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Real speed. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so here we go with our next round, and there was a lot for him to like defensively in the previous round, almost as if he's one or two steps ahead of his opponent in terms of seeing the strike before it came his way. He did a great job of moving his head as his opponent was attacking. But then when his opponent tried to string combinations together, it was his block defense that was really saving the day for him. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 
Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. All right, single collar tie now. Look at the control of the posture. Yeah, he landed that knee. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Oh, man, head kick lands. Slips. Beautiful kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Big head kick lands. Nice knee to the midsection there. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Three minutes. And that left hook landed on the button. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, he hurt badly, Jack. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Well, what got through, that kick was blocked. Right hand is on point. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. What a body kick. Nice punch there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his strike. Oh, late defense on the takedown, and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Single collar tie now. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Big kick lands. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Big head kick lands. Comes in close. Controls the performance posture. And lands his nasty up. Damaging strike there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Seconds winding down in round two. Dig and kick. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect.
All right, here we go as our next round gets yep. underway. His strong yep. leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. And they separate. Just misses there with the left. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big kick. Such a fast leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip the head at a moment's notice. Ooh, what a head kick. Big powerful punch land. Wow! Going for the head kick. No dice. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Trying to stay in this fight. Knee to the body. Well, just as. Oh, he's hurt bad. Now, again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Great punch. Blocks the shot. Oh, nice. Nice. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage? Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Beautiful punch. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Lee. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that maybe are lost on the casual fan. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. Big watch land through the middle. really start to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Straight right is there. And he comes through with a big knee. Seconds. 
Defense of round three. What a round! All right, so there's the end of the round, and we're going to show you the replay now, DC. The big moment, of course, that huge shot to the liver. I mean, a big shot to the liver. He was looking for it all night long, and eventually he found it. And it showed why most of his effort has been spent on trying to find that shot. All right, the action continues here and now as our Ready? next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Oh, collar tie. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Hands up, hands up, hands going. Good stick. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. A oh, little single collar tie there. Big kick land. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving this right to the target. Get the land exactly where you want it. Oh! He didn't like that right there. He's got him hurt here. Oh, significant strike attempt there. Goes to the spinning kick, but he misses. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Able to check that kick as well. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy, landing oh! that kick. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch he goes. And this might just be a matter of time. Great job executing the submission in that fight. Really strong work. You can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 29 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out due to arm triangle choke, Bruce the Dragon! So what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was a very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He 